going on good people welcome back to cook it up with chris so today we're gonna make us some scratch made homemade vanilla pudding i've been wanting to make a creme brulee and i said i'm gonna start with a vanilla pudding before i go there so first i got two cups of sugar going into a pot with uh, medium heat going on then i'm gonna add about four cups of milk to that sugar so if you want to make the batches bigger just uh no, it's two parts milk for every one part sugar. We're gonna get that a quick whisk to make sure that sugar gets mixed in and dissolved. No clumps, even though sugar really don't clump, even the heat of making milk. And then we're gonna go in with two thirds a cup of flour. Making a little mess with that milk out the cup size cup, but it's all good. So two thirds a cup of flour. And of course we gotta whisk that over in. Now over here in the bowl, we're going to get to separating on some uh, eggs, separating the egg whites from the yolks. I'm just using the shell to pass that yolk back and forth as it slowly takes the whites off of it. I had to pull my bowl out from the background. And there goes one yolk. And we're just going to speed the process up. Total of three yolks over there. We're going to whisk those babies down and get them all mixed in. And now I should have uh, tempered the eggs by putting some milk into the bowl first. I took a risk pouring these yolks straight over into here, but it worked out. So we're just slowly drizzling these three egg yolks over into the pot of this uh, mixture that's about to start simmering, just about there. And then we're going to add about two tablespoons of butter over in, two to three tablespoons of butter. Pop that baby over in, just let it start melting down in with everything. Alright, now here we got us some fresh vanilla bean pods. Now, uh, I say fresh, they, they still fresh, they was in date. I've had these babies sitting up in my pantry for about two years, just swearing that I was going to make some vanilla extract. But me and my wife can never bring ourselves to buy any vodka in order to make the vanilla extra. We don't drink and we're against drinking. Uh, but yeah, so for two years we said we were going to do it, but we never did. So what I'm doing with these pods now is put them to use. So we're going to just uh, take our knife, get it in, and we're going to cut this uh, bean pod down the middle. Just to open that baby up. Can't forget about this because remember we got flour in it. We don't want it to start clunking up on the bottom or anything like that. So make sure we're moving it. Now I'm going to use the back of the knife after I get the pod open and split in two, using the back of the knife to scrape all the bean portion out of the pod. Now this is easy if you put it on a flat surface like a cutting board or something and do it. But you know, sometimes you got to do things the hard way. So back of the knife while I hold it on my fingers. You see all those specks coming out? That's the beans of the vanilla beans or whatever you call the inside of the vanilla bean pod. So we're just going to mix that over in. Then I'm also going to drop the pod over in there. Get all the flavor out of that we can. And you can see our pudding is starting to thicken up a bit. So we almost there now that it's steaming good. Probably another two or three minutes and we'll be done with it. So now you can check it out here getting thicker on us. You see those bubbles just plopping up instead of constantly rolling. So we almost got that good consistency. Now we coat them back over a spoon. That's all nice and good. Just a little bit more to go. Now we're going to get a little taste test though to see where we are on flavor. Super hot, so we'll take a lot of blowing. And yeah, that was delicious. So here we are, a little time later. See how smooth they look at that little snotty drip right there? That's a good consistency for some pudding. We're done. Move that baby off the heat. All right, so storage, I'm gonna put this baby into a stainless steel bowl, any bowl will do. But look at how it's just rolling out of there all nice and smooth like. Mm, some good stuff, having flashbacks of the flavor. Look at that consistency, not too thick, not thin to where it's runny, just yummy, delicious pudding. It was hot you know I always ate my pudding cold 
but then I ate this warm and it was delicious and my son wouldn't eat it cold he only ate it warm and so yeah maybe I'm a warm pudding person now and so now to store it I just got some uh, plastic film just gonna put it over top I am gonna touch it down on top of the pudding in order to keep it from forming a crusty layer on top but then refrigerator I think we had this for about five or six days and it was still good up to the last day so you might be able to store it for seven to ten days so either way, just get out there and try it and y'all just enjoy that.